Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk But No Politics OK on Helium Radio. This is your it's Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and you know it's me, your host, Andrew Lenz, here to bring you another episode. Uh, not doing another history and review, but if you do like those, please let me know. Uh, I do have uh, do have an email address. It is a let's talk 716 at gmail.com. So if you do like those and you want those shows back, please let me know. And once again, I'm gonna say the same thing at the end, but you can check my check out my other episodes every Sunday on the BICP radio network. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and also YouTube. I post them up there every once in a while on YouTube. And I also do some retro gaming streaming and post the videos of this show as well on there. So today I'm going to be doing the tier maker once again. Uh, as, very simple. Uh, tiers S, A, B, C, D. S being the very best, just super 100% superb. A being good, but you know, not totally awesome or not totally superb. Then you got B, which is middle of the road. C could have been better and D, oh my goodness, just please stop. Please, please, please stop. And that is how they, uh, uh, the tiers work and that's how they are ranked for this one for star wars movies in here i have the whole entire star wars saga i guess it's called now along with the two endor movies uh the holiday christmas spe- or the holiday special sorry the holiday special and the two star wars stories along with ooh, what do we got uh the clone wars the animated movie as well so we got everything in there as well so let's get started and the very first one they give me is star wars episode four new hope where do i put a new hope where does it rank or tier rank tier among all these great star wars movies personally i give it an a Yes, it did start everything. It, it, it's magical. It still holds up to today. But was it the perb? No, it is not the one Star Wars movie that I think of when I go, gee, I want to watch Star Wars. I'm going to watch A New Hope. It is not up there. It's maybe the second or third choice, but it's not up there where I'm like, wow, I need to watch this one over and over and over and over again. It's there. I uh, remember my aunt, when we go visit her in Florida, she had this on VHS and we watched it all the time. So there is a, there is a nostalgia. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Nostalgia type uh, presence whenever I watch it, that it brings back those memories. Visiting my aunt in Florida, sitting down watching Star Wars. I think it was more or less one of those things where kids are crazy, we need a minute, so let's just throw on a tape. But that is what we got there. So Star Wars Episode Four, A New Hope, is an A. Next one. Star Wars Episode Two, Attack of the Clones. What do we got here? What do we have here? Hmm. How do I feel that? This movie brought in a lot of things. I'm not I'm just kind of holding on to it. This movie brought in like, excuse me, another whole Boba Fett type deal with Django Fett and how it was made, showed a lot of history in the back end. Uh, 
they just showed the Death Star. Epic lightsaber battle between Yoda and Count Dooku. It's, I think it was the first time we really got to see Yoda with a lightsaber. Not something that we normally would have all the time. Episode two. I think. Man, this is hard. This is really hard for me. Yeah. Hmm. Jeez, episode two. Where do I want to go? I mean, there was that whole love scene with Padme, and I was thinking at the beginning, we don't really need that. And then as you do more research into these movies, you do need that because that was the whole setup for the next one. Um, hmm. I am going to put it, people might hate me, I'm going to put it B, B, middle of the road, nothing great, nothing spectacular, but like I said, it did have those moments in it that brought back things. Um, I know a lot of people don't like to see kid versions of their favorite characters, but we did get it with Boba, and that is where I'd probably have to leave this one, just automatically, just leave this one right at a B tier. Not, not totally awesome, not totally bad, but it's kind of in the middle. It's there, there. That's all it is, is it's there. All right, here we go. Uh, first Endor one. Cavern, Purge. These Endor ones, where do I want to put these? Me as a kid would have been like, oh my goodness, it's Star Wars. These are amazing, at least a B or a C. But now when you look at, I know it's a show, when you look at the show like The Mandalorian, these are not great. They seem more like money grabs now. And like the Ewoks are cute and cuddly. So let's just throw some Ewok action in there. And there is the witch. I don't know if it was this one or the other one. It's been years since I've seen these. And because it seems just like it was a money grab. How can we hold on to Star Wars now that Return of the Jedi is over with? I'm going to put it in a D. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go see because I think I would watch it for the nostalgia value. And if I'm afraid if I did watch it again, it would just automatically go right to a D. But just because I haven't seen it in so many years, I want to say it's a C because I did kind of say what it was. It was that graphs back to Star Wars to show you know, if you did miss it, this is something Star Wars. It's not, it's not the main characters, but hey, Wicket's in it. There's some Ewoks. Go check it out. It's it's Endor. It's Endor. Go 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 watch this. But that is where I put that. Definitely. I'm trying, you know, I think I want to put it in a D, but I'm going to leave it at C. I placed it. It's good. I, I'm trying not to change it after I start thinking about it more. We just got to move on and keep this going. Because uh, really, I only have a half an hour of your time. And time is precious. So we need to keep this moving. So the next one we have, episode five. Uh the, the Empire Strikes Back. This goes right fast. Great. So many different things in this movie. Find out Darth Vader is Luke's father. My goodness. Uh, a lightsaber duel. Almost that. Han Solo gets frozen in the carbonite. Just so much is taken in from this one. From episode four, 
it's probably one of the few times where a sequel is just better in my mind than the original. It's just out there. Everything in it from the Hoth, the battle on Hoth is seeing Darth Vader walking with the stormtroopers through the Hoth base. Uh, Wampa, Tauntauns, just so many new characters and everything else. And Luke in the tank, you know, re- recovering that they just have him float in this symbiotic like fluid. There's just so much to take in there with this one. Cloud City, meeting Lando, finding out about the whole entire thing. Then there was the turn, there was the dinner where he turned on his good friend and everything else. A lot with Empire Strikes Back. A lot of good stuff. Meeting Yoda for the first time. Finding out the ways of the Force and everything else. And it, 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 it's an ass. It's an ass. I, I don't think too many people would disagree with me that it is an ass all the way. So here we go with our next one. Uh, Star Wars Holiday Special. D. Absolutely horrible to the point where nobody wants to talk about this thing. Whether you're Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, R.I.P. Carrie Fisher. Nobody wants to talk about this train wreck. If you've ever seen it, it is the biggest Star Wars money grab probably known to man. Just horrible all the way around. Hate Life Day. Uh, I covered it in an episode with uh, Johnny Townsend from Retro Bliss, History Creeps, a lot of great other podcasts, uh, Retro Pop. And we talked about this and we just said it was just absolutely horrible all the way through just horrible the whole Chewbacca family thing a life day and there are some big people big name people in this special tv movie special and it would be and the only thing that kept me from trying to make another tear in this for making it even worse is we got to see Boba Fett in cartoon form and everybody loves Boba Fett. I mean, you know, he is that guy. I think it's a mystery thing behind him, but Boba Fett is one of those guys that everybody likes. And this is the only time you got to see him. This is a Star Wars money grab. Hey, a new hope did amazing. Let's make a holiday special out of this. And it could be with, Chewbacca on Shashik, where he celebrates a life day with his family, but oh no, the Empire is going to come in and spoil everything. And just, 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 just horrible. It's so horrible that I can't stop talking about how horrible it is. One of those things that it is an absolute mess. It is one of those things that you should just stay away from and not watch. But I know many people that haven't seen it we'll seek it out and try and find it i know it is on youtube that's where i found it i knew i i've only heard of the myth before that point because it's never re-aired and i went to go look i went looking for it and i found it and boy did i regret it (laughs) what did i regret every second finding this it's horrible It's really, it's really bad. Let's move on. Let's move on. So the next one, we have episode six, Return of the Jedi. This one, I'm going to put in an S because this is my favorite. This is my favorite one. This is absolute favorite. Just everything. I love this movie growing up. When the lightsaber pops out of RPD2 and Luke, you know, Hops back, jumps up, grabs in the air, and just starts wrecking all of little Java or all of Java's thugs. May, just even the beginning, the, the beginning of it just it grabs you. It really grabbed me because you got to see, you know, as a kid, if you watch the remakes, it's not the case, but or the the retouch up special editions. Uh this is the first time you got to see Jabba and you got to see the palace and you got to get more of the story behind 
Khan in Java. So when I watched this, it was pretty amazing. And then there was the Rancor pit. You know, the Rancor came out. And that was a very powerful moment because then you see, I believe it's the Rancor handler. I thought it was because one of its friends died, but later on I find out that it, I believe it's the Rancor handler. He's crying because the Rancor dies. Luke does some amazing tricks. You get to see a Jedi without his weapon just dominate this giant. I not, uh, not so much to dominate, but beat this giant beast that he's not supposed to beat. And that is one of the things that I truly, truly enjoyed about this movie. The green lightsaber was absolutely amazing. Here we are going to Endor, <laughs> you know, meeting the Ewoks, and it was originally supposed to be Wookiees there, but then they said, no, we're going to go with Ewoks. And then they have this uprising where they beat the Empire. Han Solo is great in this one as well as Empire Strikes Back. I forgot to mention, Empire Strikes Back's got one of the greatest lines ever in a movie when Leia tells Han, I love you. And all he says is, I know. That is classic. But this one has it too. Oh, okay. So the guys out there will just go Leia, Gold Bikini. There you go. And then you get to see more of this redemption story of Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader. You know, he wants to be good. And then all of a sudden he takes on the Emperor because he sees that the Emperor just... He, that, that guy goes through apprentices like crazy. Uh, we, had, we had Darth Maul. I know there's probably some more. I don't know a whole bunch of Star Wars canon outside of the movies or anything like that. But you got Darth Maul. You got uh, Uku or Darth Tyrannius. And then you get into Darth Vader. And then he's like, I want Luke Skywalker. I wonder what Luke Skywalker's Darth name was. His Sith name would have been. One thing I would have liked to know. But Return of the Jedi is an easy S tier for me. Just, just great all around, I feel. Uh, my favorite Star Wars movie. That's my go-to. If I'm going to sit down and watch something, I'm watching that one. And then there's probably one other, one or two other ones maybe left on this list that I go to also. So our next one is Star Wars this? episode three. Revenge of the Sith. Where would I put this? So hard. I'm going to put it in B. It almost could have made an A. You know what? I'm going to put it in A. A no, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I want to stick it in B. I was gonna stick it in A because of the story behind me watching it. I was overseas. We were supposed to be going on a mission. Um, an over exaggeration of our <laughs> CEO as well in how it goes. So he told us, you know, we need to do this. And I watched this movie before I went out because I needed to see episode three. And I got to say, it it belongs here. The whole Darth Vader thing, I, I felt this story was very, very rushed at this point. You know, everything, once it started happening, it happened really, really fast. I understand it probably needed to happen that way, but it happened really, 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 really fast. So that's why it's a B. Check my... Check my timer because, like I said, I only have so much time, and I want to. I got a bunch of movies left. Rogue One, last here. This is the best out of the Star Wars stories. Absolutely love it. Uh, I, I can't put my finger on it, but just the story behind everything is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So Rogue One goes there. I'm going to probably get a little bit fast here. Solo. I'm going to give it an A. It's a great story about Han Solo. Hits everything that we needed to hit. Did everything amazingly. Uh, the Endors, 
B, uh, Clone Wars, the animated movie. I'm going to put a B. Wasn't a big fan of Clone Wars, the animated show, but the animated movie was good as well. Force Awakens, this might surprise. It's A because it brought back all the feelings, all the feelings of Star Wars back again into how I felt about things. Last Jedi, I'm going to do with B. We're watchable other than that whole gambling thing with Rose and Flynn and they go off to the planet that I could not do. I didn't want it. That's where I got a little bit boring with everything. And episode one, I'm going to put it in a B. It's there. It's good. It's a lot of uh, talking, not too much Star Wars action, but it is there so that's where i'm gonna put it is right in the b tier okay uh rise of skywalker this is the conclusion of the skywalker saga how do i feel about this I am going to put it, I'm going to put it in A. It wasn't 100% best, but I think it told a great story and there wasn't too much they could do to make up for last, The Last Jedi. This was kind of like, we're trying to do our best. Please help us out. We're, we're doing what we can. There's a lot of weird things in the movie, but hey, that is what I got for my tier. So uh, us tier. The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Rogue One, A tier, New Hope, uh, Solo, uh, Force Awakens, and Rise of Skywalker. I don't think what it was called. B tier, we have uh, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, the Attack of the Clones animated movie, and Episode One. C tier, those two Endor movies, and last jedi and d tier we have the star wars holiday special so there it is there it have i've tiered all the star wars movies and i gotta say i'm 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 happy with this list i'm happy where things ended up i think they needed to end up there and once again every sunday please check out let's talk but no politics I'm your host, Andrew Lenz, and you can check that out on the BICP Radio Network, Apple iTunes, or I'm sorry, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. I play retro games on YouTube. Uh, you can check those out. I got a Tecmo Super Bowl season for the other podcasts I do, the Two Point Conversation. And I post those videos on my YouTube channel as well as, well as other retro games, fun videos like this. And once again, Helium Radio giving me another platform to get ideas and everything out there. And that is every Friday at 7 p.m. And go check out the archives, what I used to do this week in history review. And if you have any suggestions or anything or would like to come on and come on the show, please email me at let's talk 716 at gmail.com. I do believe my email is up on the helium radio website and also go check out my facebook page posting fun stuff there uh today in history with pop culture every day a new a new post is put up i'm also on instagram and i also have fun questions to ask people as well on my facebook page so go check out that if you're just looking for some fun nostalgia culture, whatever you want, type feed. And with that being said, good morning, good afternoon, and good night.